Hey everyone, welcome back to I Dream of Indie. Old Gamer Joe is here today with another review. We are looking at Beyond a Steel Sky on PC Steam platform, developed and published by Revolution Software, released on July 16th of 2020. This is an action-adventure point-and-click science fiction game. It had previously been released on the Apple Arcade, and this one has an interesting history behind it because it is the sequel of sorts to a game from 1994 called Beneath a Steel Sky. That was 26 years ago, and to be completely completely honest with you, I never actually experienced that game, though I did look up a little bit of video in researching this review, and it actually looks really cool. While that game was more of a classic point-and-click adventure, Beyond the Steel Sky definitely feels more like a Telltale game, one of the adventure games of the last few years versus the ones from the 90s. While I love video game history, and typically I love to play the first game in a series before I jump into a sequel, in this case, unfortunately, I just didn't have the time, though I would love to go back and experience that game. Thankfully though, while this game does appear to pay tribute in a lot of different ways to that title, you can jump into the story pretty easily without having to have played that game. One thing that really did excite me about this game though was the fact that it had the creator of the Broken Sword series involved with it. That's really cool because I actually love that series, I've played quite a few of those games. That alone would have been enough of a reason for me to want to check this game out, but it also features art direction from someone who worked on the legendary comic book series Watchmen, and his name is Mr. Dave Gibbons. So we have some pretty talented people involved with this project. I have to be honest, I'm surprised I didn't hear more about this game. I'm not really tuned into the Apple Arcade universe perhaps as much as I should be, and maybe that's why I wasn't aware of it. Anyways, sorry, I didn't mean to go on a tangent there, but I do love some of the people that are involved with this particular project. Beyond the Steel Sky has you taking control of a character named Robert Foster, and Robert Foster is on a quest to find a missing child who has been abducted. In fact, a lot of children have gone missing recently. As he begins to discover more clues, he is eventually led to Union City, where he'll begin to investigate more and more into this missing child case. Most of the world which Beyond a Steel Sky takes place in has been pretty devastated over the years, with this really being the last utopia of sorts, and it is completely controlled by AI. Cyberpunk fans like myself will definitely get a kick out of this universe. Like I mentioned earlier, this is an adventure game more in the style of the Telltale series of games. Think of, for example, The Walking Dead. I always saw both a good and a bad side to that shift in this genre. On one hand, it did alleviate a lot of the frustration that old point-and-click games would often provide players. But the flip side to that was there was definitely more of a focus on the narrative aspects of these games and the comedic value that they often provide, which I appreciate. That did unfortunately come at the cost of the puzzle elements sometimes taking a back seat in these titles, however, which I found a little bit disappointing, and that is sort of the case here. Though throughout the first seven hours or so of Beyond a Steel Sky, you will encounter some puzzles that might have you racking your brain a little bit, most of them revolving around a very simplistic hacking mechanic which has you taking advantage of robots so that they'll do different things, as well as hacking vending machines. However, puzzles will take a backseat here, mostly to the game's narrative. There's a ton of dialogue in this title, all fully voice acted too. The voice acting can be a little bit hit or miss, but for the most part it's actually pretty solid, there's some decent production values behind this title. And because there is a large diverse cast in this game, you'll talk to a lot of different people and be given a lot of different choices, you're going to hear a lot of that voice acting. So if you're going into this game looking for some action, you're not really going to find it here. It's definitely more narratively driven, and there's not going to be any gun shootouts or anything too much like that. Some of the few puzzles that you do come across, however, can be a little bit on the frustrating side and might take you a little bit of messing around with the hacking mechanic to figure out, but for the most part, it's not an extremely difficult game. I did find that my analog stick wasn't always the most responsive in hitting a direction of which choice I would want to make, and that was a little bit frustrating, but it wasn't a huge deal for the most part. Interaction is pretty simple in this title. Graphically, Beyond the Steel Sky actually looks really great. That comic book aesthetic really does shine through in this one, and I like the world a lot and all of the characters that are in that world. The PC version does feature a good amount of different graphical qualities that you can choose between, and I was able to max the game out at 1440p on my rig, and it really did look fantastic. The environments that you do explore in this game are really beautiful. Maybe I wish there were a few more of them. You will spend a lot of time in certain areas, as you'll come to learn throughout the game. I did, however, come across the Occasional frame rate hiccup, nothing too serious and only happening in certain rooms, but there were also some weird graphical oddities and glitches that I came across. Sometimes while interacting with characters, a weird camera angle would crop up, nothing too game-breaking or anything like that, but it was a little bit weird and did take me out of the experience for a few moments. But on the whole, graphical oddities aside, this is a really nice looking title with a great art direction. 
The game does also feature a really cinematic soundtrack. I'm not huge into cinematic music. I like a little bit of video game in my video games when it comes to music, but it is well done. There's not a lot of memorable melodies or anything that you'll be thinking about after you've finished playing, but it does suit the universe fairly well. I should also mention a few audio glitches that I came across, with my character's voice sometimes dropping out only to come back in at a later moment in the conversation. So yes, in terms of presentation, there is a little bit of jankiness to this one, but for the most part, it's a really good sounding and looking game. Got enough faith for the two of us. Maybe even enough for all three of us. You have no idea. Alright, they don't call me Old Gamer Joe for nothing. I've always appreciated old school point and click adventure games more than I did the later Telltale series, but that's a personal preference and there's still a lot to like and I enjoyed my time with Beyond a Steel Sky quite a bit. If anything, it really did energize me to go back and check out the original more. Some of the puzzles and graphical oddities can be a little bit frustrating, but for the most part there's great charm to these characters, pretty good voice acting, and a world that feels believable and lived in. It's not a perfect game by any means, but I do think Beyond a Steel Sky is a worthwhile experience with a lot of great dialogue, some funny, charming moments, and a great world for you to explore. So will you be checking out Beyond the Steel Sky? Let us know in the comments section below, and if you have enjoyed our video coverage today, consider hitting the subscribe button to help us bring a voice to the voiceless ones in gaming. There's a ton of other ways you can support I Dream of Indie down in the description box. You can check out our Facebook, our Discord, or even hit up our Patreon where we have three wonderful tiers to check out. However you end up supporting I Dream of Indie, we thank you so much for doing so.